The Bumble Bear by Nadia Shireen. Once there was a bear called Norman who loved honey. He really, really, really loved it. And he was always sad when it ran out. But getting hold of more honey was always a bit tricky. If only I could be a bee, he sighed. I could have as much honey as I like. And then Norman had a quite amazing and brilliant idea. It was an ordinary morning at bee school. Hello bees, said the queen, who was in charge. We have a new bee at bee school today. Oh, said the little bees. Everyone say hello to Norman. Hello, said Norman. Oh, said the little bees. He's quite a bit bee, isn't he, Norman? Oh, aren't you a bit big? asked Amelia, who was a rather clever little bee. I'm a special bee, said Norman. I come from a land far, far away called Giant Bee Land. Hmm, said Amelia. But then it was time for lessons to start. Bee School Daily Planner. Name, Norman. They began the day with some painting. Then Norman enjoyed... Oh, sorry. Then Norman joined in with buzzing practice. Bzz, 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 bzz. Can you buzz like that? Bzz, 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 bzz. Before everyone settled down for a nap. Then the bee showed him all sorts of games during playtime. And Norman was brilliant at waggly dancing. And then it was time to go home. Bee school is amazing, thought Norman. He couldn't wait to come back the next day. The next morning was even better. Norman was very good at finding smelly flowers. The bees really liked him. He was so funny and friendly, he always tried his best even during flying lessons. Oh, you can't quite get, get that lesson, can you, boys and girls? After lunch, the bees learned how to chase away anyone who came after their honey, like spiders, mice, toads, or bears. Amelia still felt there was something a bit odd about Norman. She tried to work out what it was. <gasps> Gasp! Bears, steal honey, smells bad, roar, lots. Amelia told the other bees what she'd found out. But then she didn't believe, but then they didn't believe her. Of course Norman's a bee, they said. Just look at him. He is not a bee, and I shall prove it, said Amelia. She took Norman to the bees' secret honey store. Well, when he saw all that honey, Norman just couldn't help himself. Honey, 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 look how happy he is. After all, he really, really, really loved honey. See, Norman isn't a bee, he's a bear, said Amelia. What's the chickens, gasped the, all the little bees. Huh? said Norman. He was asked to leave bee school at once. Oh, everyone's sad now. 
With Norman gone, things were never quiet. Or, oh, sorry, things were very quiet at bee school. Norman was such a funny bee, sighed the bees. Norman was such a busy bee, sighed Amelia. Norman was a naughty bear, said the queen, and bee school is no place for bears. But later that night, the bees heard a loud crash and a diabolical roar. Oh no, they cried, it's a bear. Oh, doesn't quite look like Norman, does it? And this bear was big and nasty and he trampled all over the bee school. It grabbed the hive and started to shake it. The bees tumbled out in panic. They tried to chase the bear away, but it was too big and too bad. But then... A fearsome buzzing beast burst through the trees. Buzz! Eek! squealed the bear. It's a giant bee! And it ran away as fast as he could. The bees were saved and Norman was a hero. They gave him a big pot of honey and the queen presented him with a special award. You definitely aren't a bee, said the queen. But you are no ordinary bear. You are, I think, a bumblebear. And bumblebears were definitely allowed to go back to bee school. The end.